Vayikra el Moshe. In the beginning of the third book of the Torah, the book of Leviticus, we find how the Torah says, Vayikra el Moshe, and he called unto Moses. Who is he? He implies Almighty God. Yet the Torah does not say, Vayikra Hashem el Moshe, that God called on to Moshe. It simply says, Vayikra. And the question is, why is the name of God omitted over here? Why doesn't it say, Vayikra Hashem, God was the caller? In most places in the Torah, when we see God communicating with Moses, it says, Vayoymer Hashem el Moshe, Vayidaber Hashem el Moshe, Vayikra Hashem el Moshe. It says, and God spoke, God called, God said to Moses, and yet here we omit the name of God. And the question is why? And more startling is the fact that the word Vayikra has a small aleph. Why does Vayikra have a small aleph? The story is told that in 1792, when the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Rebbe of Lubavitch, became three years old, his grandfather, the Alter Rebbe, followed an old tradition, a custom to wrap the child in his talus. And he brought him to the cheder, he brought him to the school. And he brought him to the teacher, Rabbi Avram the Malamid. And he told Rabbi Avram the Malamid, today is my grandson's first official day in the yeshiva. And I want you to start to teach him from Vayikra. That's the custom. When we teach a child Torah, we begin from the third book of Leviticus, Vayikra el Moshe. The child came home from school. He said, Zaydi, Grandpa, why in Vayikra do we have a small aleph? Al Rebbe said like this, Adam, the first man, was arrogant. And that is why we find in the book of Chronicles that Adam has a large aleph. Adam was arrogant because he knew that God created him with his own bare hands. He knew that his intellect was greater than the administering angels. He knew that his intellect was even greater than that of Solomon. And so he was arrogant and he sinned. Moshe Rabbeinu was humble. And because he was humble, the Torah says, Vayikra, and God called him with the small aleph. Now what is humility? We explain many times that humility does not mean naivete. Humility does not mean I don't know who I am. What do you think, when Moshe Rabbeinu was walking amongst the Jewish people, was he walking like a quiet hunchback and, and hiding behind the bushes? He used to walk and all the Jewish people separated for him and he walked tall and strong and he spoke loud. So what does it mean he was more humble than any person on the face of the earth? The concept of humility is twofold. Number one, that we realize that the powers that we have are God-given. And number two, that if another person was given this same talent, that person would outdo me and accomplish more than I am accomplishing. In other words, Moshe Rabbeinu, he knew that he was 
the seventh from Avram. And he knew that his father was Amram, who was the leader of the Jewish people. Yet he realized that he was given a blessing. He was given a gift from God that he was able to speak to God face to face. He was able to go into heaven for 120 days. But he also realized that if another person was chosen for that role, that person would have gone beyond Moshe. That person would have accomplished even more. So he was more humble than any person on the face of the earth. On one hand, he knew his qualities, he knew his job, he knew his mission, he knew his responsibility. He had to lead the Jewish people with an iron fist. He couldn't be quiet and meek. On the other hand, he treated every person as an equal. He didn't speak condescending or disparagingly to other people. And he really felt that if that person had my job, that person would outshine me. At the same time, he knew what his responsibilities were, and he had to fulfill them. So that is the meaning of Ayikra with a small aleph. That God called Moshe, and even though Moshe Rabbeinu was called by God, he still felt very humble. And he felt insignificant. But the question comes to mind, why specifically the Aleph? Why is the Aleph small? Why not another letter? And here too we have another message. And the message is that Aleph stands for Aluf. Aluf means master and chief. To be humble when you are comparing yourself to somebody else who is not in the same field as you, it's very easy. So let's say you're a writer and you go to the opera and you say, wow, that guy sings amazing. I can never ever sing like that. That's not called true humility because you can't carry a tune. True humility is if you are a writer and then you read someone else's book and then you admit, wow, that guy is a great writer. Even though you think you're a good writer and you know how to write, but you have the humility to say, wow, that person can really write. Or if a singer goes to an opera and he says, wow, that guy can really sing. Even though the singer sitting in the audience thinks he's the best singer in the world, but when he hears the other person, he says, wow, that guy can sing. That's called humility. So it says, Vayikra el Moshe. That Moshe's humility was not in another field. Saying, wow, this person is a better seamstress than me. Or that person is a better cook than me. That wouldn't be true humility. Vayikra. The Aleph, which means master. That even in the same field as Moshe, which is a teacher and a leader and a speaker, etc., etc., even in that field, he realized that other people would truly outshine him if they were given that same chance and that same opportunity. And so we have Ayikra. Says Rashi, the terminology of Ayikra is a calling of love. That God calls Moshe Rabbeinu with love. Why does God call Moshe Rabbeinu with love? Because Moshe Rabbeinu is humble. Because Moshe Rabbeinu was humble and he allowed other people into his space and he allowed God into his heart, therefore Vayikra, the calling was a calling of love. And furthermore, we don't say Vayikra Hashem el Moshe that God called on to Moshe. Because the name God is a terminology. Any name of the seven names or the ten names of God represent a specific controlled light or energy that God manifests himself into that, that name or that arena or, or that attribute. Vayikra el Moshe means that the essence of God, the essence which is beyond all name and configuration and shape, 
an attribute, the essence of God called on to Moshe. Why? Because Moshe Rabbeinu was small in his own eyes. He was humble. And this is the lesson of Ayikra. Every one of us has a spark of Moshe Rabbeinu. And therefore we have the attribute of greatness. At the same time, we don't call ourselves great. Realizing that this talent and this attribute and this quality that we are given was given to us by God. At the same time, we also realize that if we have a certain quality and God gave us a certain talent, we have to use that to the greatest ability. And to use that talent to make the world a better place. And to use that talent to bring God to the rest of the world. And when we use our talent properly, and at the same time realize that this talent is God-given, then Vayikra al Moshe, then God's calling to us is truly a calling of love.